sucks. Think it sucks now? Should have seen it before the quake. Is that your contact? Hammond, copy. This is Hammond. What the hell are you doing in the zone? No, don't answer that. You got some action coming your way. Yeah, what kind of action? It's Dex Muldoon. You want to thank me now or later? He's in another dispensary. We managed to track his vehicle, and we'll be there in two minutes. Beware. Eye in the sky says right where you're standing. cherries in his own. Except for you, Hammond. You don't have a cherry. Riding into a level three. So we'll have level three protection. We'll have counters and breeders on standby, but I don't think we'll be needing them. Why are they radioactive? Well, the Quake took out three local power stations, fusion reactors. Fortunately, there wasn't a full meltdown, but they did release some of the bad stuff. Who the hell would want to live there? Do the math. It's like Club Med for criminals. Well, some of the people there don't have a choice. Entering the dead zone, sir. When we hit the ground, our target is Tex Muldoon. The locals consider him to be some kind of Che Guevara. Do not be fooled. Take him out. We take out over one-fifth of the drug trade in the zone. Two minutes of landing, sir. Let's lock it up.
What's wrong with him? He's got gin mods, radiation poisoning. Stay too long in the zone, it can get pretty nasty. You've already had all your kids, right? Jones. That ain't him. Keep moving. That is not our objective. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Uh-uh, go on and sit down, big fella. We ain't here for you. You wouldn't have set up your command center a few blocks away if you were. Think we didn't see you? Look, we don't care about your business, all right? We just want safe passage. You have no authority here. What do you want? Come again. You need anything? Medical supplies? Or if it's something from the outside world that you need, I can get it delivered to you. Mills? You copy me, sir? Good. So, if you need anything, have one of your men contact Sergeant Mills down at the command center. And if it's something we can get, he'll get it for you. You have my word. All we ask is to pass through quietly. And what if I don't agree? God damn it, Hammett Nichols, call for backup. Yes, sir. What if what I want isn't actually legal? Something from your evidence room, perhaps? Come on, man. Do we look like crooked cops to you? Don't answer that. Iodine tablets in liquid form, too. Cypro, scotch, two cases, hypodermic needles. And three cases of Mexican Coca-Cola. The kind with the real sugar? <laughs> I can't get my hands on that. We can't. That was my joke. Mills, you got that? Got it. Sir, you still need that backup? Yeah, they're not even in the building yet. We got a deal. Good. Paparazzi, that bitch. Well, dude, this is the police. You know you're in here, and we had the place surrounded.
Scott. Two dead cops on your hands. Do you really want that? You're in no position to negotiate. Who said this is a negotiation? Put down your weapon. What are you gonna do? You're gonna blow us both up? Dex Muldoon, you are under arrest. <laughs> you come any closer and I'll blow his brains out. Sergeant Hammond has been approved for destruction. This is non negotiable. Put down your weapon. Who the hell is this guy? I have no idea. You have three choices. Surrender and live. Shoot Sergeant Hammond and die. Shoot me and die. Make a choice. Fuck you! Marks, Jackson on me! you in the face, then yeah. I would advise against it. Yeah, I bet you would, Mr. Roboto. One more thing. Who sent you? I received a request for backup. I provided backup. Who the hell was that? Our future. Well, the professionals finally showed up. How about that? Oh, you ordered this over here. Hey, that's not for you. The hell it ain't. Hey, I made a deal. Yeah, well, sometimes life ain't always fair. Hey, look, Damon. Tell them we are not in the rum running business. It's not just rum. Chief. Chief. I'd like to report an incident. Hammond, I heard all about it. No, I'm not talking about the suspect. I'm talking about that super cop. Supercop. Yeah, you know the guy I'm talking about. That that skin job. That that psychopathic soda machine. That things of men. Hammond, before you go too far, I want you to meet your new partner. Will you give us a minute? That means move out of the way. like it, Hammond, but you're the best man for it. Well, assuming I've forgotten about today's nifty event, after what happened out there with that auto gun, do you think I'd be happy to take a possession anywhere near a machine? It's an android. Well, I don't care what you call it, it's still a machine. You know how you sound when you say you don't like machines? 
Look, somebody programmed that thing. Just like somebody programmed that auto gun to stop intruders, yet it missed our call sign, a secure call sign. And they call it a malfunction, a goddamn hiccup. That was a human life. I know. That's why I want you near it. There's a lot more at stake here than just your personal feelings. That android, skin job, whatever you want to call it, it represents just the first wave of many, many more to come. And unlike what we're used to, they don't require human operators. The brass says that we have to give this thing a field test, a dry run. You're going to be reporting on that dry run. That, listen, listen, listen to me. This thing could signify the end of human involvement in law enforcement. Is that what you want? Or on the other hand, if it should just happen to wash out, so be it. Frankly, I think people would be a lot happier with officers such as yourself rather than those things. Hammond, I'd like to formally introduce you to Advanced Autonomous Artificial Intelligence Neural Net Law Enforcement Droid I-1. Advanced Autonomous, look, that's too long. I'll call you Andy. You could call me Officer One. Sure. How do you do? Do what? This thing's gonna be interacting with the public? You can take that one right there. Do you even need to sit? I can sit or stand. You might as well sit down unless you want me to hang my jacket on you. I'm not here for your amusement, Sergeant Hammond. If you would like me to ask for another partner, I would be very happy to. Wait a minute. Did you ask for me as a partner? Affirmative. And why would you do that? It was suggested to me that our compatibility index would be high. Might as well try that coffee maker over there. <laughs> Do you think Internal Affairs sent them? No, we got them some bitches locked up tighter than a frog's ass in a tsunami. No, he's not working for IA. Who's he working for then? He's working for us. We just don't know it yet. We are getting our first assignment. Hammond, you're up. We got a report of a jumper over at 7th Street. All the boys are tied up downtown. Can you handle that? I'm on it. Do me a favor. Next time you get wind of a call, let me know what it is first. This guy is ruining my day. I have to show this bill today. Do you know him? Yeah, his name's Jake Westcott. He lives on the fifth floor. You know, comes and goes, kind of quiet. So he's never tried to jump off the roof before? Uh, no. With your permission, I would like to go alone. Hell no. My programming addresses these scenarios. Oh yeah, he's gonna feel real worthwhile when we send a robot or android out to talk to him. That says we really care. I'm not following you. I've gone through several instances like this in multiple simulations. See, those were simulations. This is real life. There is a greater probability for success if I were to go than someone such as yourself. Such as myself? What's that supposed to mean? Um, okay. sorry guys. Sorry to interrupt you guys. Big moment. Hey, I... Do you want me to cite you? Andy, you stay right here. <sighs> Mr. Westcott? Oh, it's far enough. I'm not here to stop you, Mr. Westcott. Right. I only want to ask you a couple of questions. I'm not really in the mood for questions. Well, yeah, I can see that. But, Mr. Westcott, are you by any chance an organ donor? Well, as you may know, organ donation has saved countless lives, and don't you think it's good thing to consider from a man in your situation? Most people your age who donate their organs are in terrible accidents and not all of their organs are even useful. But you're clearly in good physical condition. It would be a shame, don't you think? I'm, I'm not gonna donate my organs. Mr. Westcott, if you just allow me to make the call, I can get organ harvesters over here in five minutes. They can euthanize you in a humane manner. It can be painless. Then we can get your organs out to somebody who can really use them. You're insane! Imagine the sensation of impact from far from this height. <clears throat>
Give me a moment. I told you to stay back. We can go now. What are you talking about? The situation no longer requires our presence. What? I performed a micro-expression analysis on the subject. He will not hurt himself. Try telling that to In the captain. In addition, cap I have initiated a plan to defuse the situation. his phone records. The majority were to an individual who was not responding. Okay, so the, the woman, and go on. I sent texts from each other with the data required to bring equilibrium to their social interaction. Okay, so you texted him pretending to be her, and her pretending to be him. So you lied. Each of them received the information needed to restore their pair bonding. Pair bonding? Were you Jane Goodall? I have access to her files. Your posture of moral superiority and questioning the legality of my method is suspect when you propose to euthanize our subject. Hey, it's been legal in the state since 2024. Did you consider the consequences if the subject were to take you up on your proposal? Yeah, it's his organs. Let me ask you a question. What happens when they realize they didn't text each other? The outcome depends on the amount of time that has transpired before this interaction. The further the time, the greater the probability that they will maintain the equilibrium. Would you like to hear the probability matrix? No. Just remind me to keep you from interacting with anyone I know. We're getting another call. Could you please stop that? Kevin, I've got a missing persons case for you. See, that's why I told you to tell me what it is before we... Uh, yeah, why put us on it? We've got to keep it low profile for now. It's complicated. Uh, yes, um, I'm walking around with a 400-pound black robot with a white head. How low profile do you think we are? Look, you've been personally requested by the mayor's office. Just do it! Second M. Stones. And this is... Advanced Autonomous Artificial Intelligence Neural Net Law Enforcement Droid I-1. Andy. I get it. Uh, the mayor's very busy, but he is concerned about his daughter. So the mayor has a daughter? Yes. Now, this wasn't public knowledge until recently, but when the quakes devastated L.A., the mayor sent his then-infant daughter to Brazil to live with her mother. He and his wife were estranged. When she passed away, his daughter returned to Los Angeles. So is she the one who's missing? Not exactly. All androids like him. It's a boat's issue for us. Not as autonomous or as advanced. They work on pre-programmed scripts. Robos. The mayor's daughter, Helen Jacobs. She's not missing. Who is? Her body. She's connected to a telepresence bot. You're familiar with the concept? Well, yes, robots are androids remotely controlled through human brainwaves. Pioneered by ACI corporations for dangerous military operations. Working in environments that are not suitable for humans. Yes, as you are aware, Detective Hammond, their success on the battlefield has led to many applications. They can give the wounded a new lease on life, a new mobility, and freedom from their mortal bodies. So she's connected via telepresence robot right now? An android. One so sophisticated it could pass for you or I. So why don't we just wake her up and ask her where it is? It's not so simple. She suffered catastrophic injuries in her accident, and she went to a coma. Now, we were able to connect her to an android body, but here's the kicker. She's not aware it is in her own body. She is not aware of her telepresence. Is that legal? 
I'm told that the shock of waking up and making such a discovery could be devastating to her, could lead to a psychotic break. As far as she's concerned, she had an accident and she made it out just fine. How could she not know? The conscious mind believes what it wants to believe, Detective. And you cannot track her telepresence droid? She's gone outside the grid. We believe she's gone into one of the deconstructed zones. That's where you come in. You can go in there with no problems. Well, so if I go in there and I find her, what then? I mean, she hasn't committed any crimes. Secure her and bring her back here. Now, under no circumstances is she to be told what she is. Now, if Helen wakes up here, we'll handle that. But otherwise, she's just a normal 24-year-old woman. Who happens to be an android? Not be one. Exist in one. You know the difference. So what happened to her? That's not relevant to this case if the mayor doesn't want that information out there. Well, it might help us find her. Trust me, it won't. Is there something in her personality that would make you think she would be drawn to the zones? Listen, the mayor and his daughter don't always see eye to eye. She's a bit of an activist. When she got injured, we think she was in the zones under the guise of some crusade. People being exploited are her pet causes. Her father has enemies on all sides of the law. If she went there under the guise of some ideological crusade, she could have run into somebody that would hurt her just to get to her father. Well, even if they did run into her, what could they do to her? I mean, her real body's right here, and the other one's an android. Look, no offense, Andy, but you know what people do with androids. Manual labor. Soldiers, domestics, sex slaves. The mayor's daughter turn into a sex slave? Look, even if it's via telepresence, that's something that we don't even want to imagine, Detective. Find her before they do. check the underground markets. That won't be necessary. If she has been abducted, someone with her attributes could end up there. I didn't think you noticed attributes. Well, it's not that. I know somebody that can help us find her. Porter, Porter, Porter. Is this official business? Yes. Have you seen this woman? What makes you think I can help you with that? Don't bullshit me, Porter. I can make it worth your while. I would not be in business if I turned people over to anyone offered me a buck. See, I'm not offering you a buck, Barter. I'm offering you your freedom. How can you offer me something I already got? See my partner here? He's not like you and me. See, he's an android. That means you take the empathy of a regular person, a normal person, and you divide that by, say, 20,000 and you still won't be able to touch his level of not giving a crap. And you tell me this why? This is where I'm going to help you out a little bit. See, he doesn't give a damn about you. See, he can look deep into your shit, if you know what I mean. No, I don't. Your business, Porter. He could look deep into it. Andy, show him what I'm talking about. I'm accessing his records. I can find nothing that substantiates filing charges. Well, what about his bank records? Uh, I'm sure embezzlement might offer up some uh, numerical residue that we can sniff into. This individual is clean. He pays his bills. His deposits match his employer records. I do show that he is expecting a tax refund. Give us a minute. Absolutely. Look, you need to go along with me on this, okay? You know, like those text messages that you falsified? I do not see how threatening this individual will help our case. The preferable tactic would be to gain his trust. Well, you need to do a little gaining my trust. Are you looking for results? Or are using this interaction as an outlet for suppressed aggression? Results. Watch me. Ugh. 
Listen, asshole. I know people like you provide guide services for people going in and out of the zone. Oh, you get all this information. <laughs> that is illegal. That violates the quarantine. This woman has been in and out of this zone quite often. Clearly, someone has helped her. Not by me. Is that right? Okay. Then tell me some other operators. Give me their names. That's beyond my scope. What are you doing? This is not working. Oh, okay. You're trying to play good cop, bad cop. Good cop, bad cop? Yeah, it's where one of us thinks... I am familiar with the technique. Oh, are you? Well, you're doing a good job at playing mediocre cop. I'll tell you what. You need me, I'll be at the bar. Please accept the apology of the police department for Officer Hammond. He is experiencing difficulties. Oh, yeah? Well, that's no excuse for roughing somebody up. Of course it isn't. Would you like to file charges? That, uh, isn't necessary. I am equipped to accept verbal statements for filing charges. Look, I, uh, I don't want to file charges. Are you afraid he may retaliate? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, it's not my way. Okay. I, I don't file charges against cops. Uh -uh. Are you at all afraid of the police? Would you like to add that to your statement? No. God damn it, man. If you are threatened by the police at any time, we can offer protection. I don't need protection. Hey, hey, hey look, I'm sorry. He's, he's malfunctioning. What? All system scans are at acceptable levels. Uh, no, there's something wrong. We need to get back to the HQ. Let's go. You're interfering with an ongoing investigation. That is against departmental code. We need to go. You are pursuing unlawful behavior. Well, then write me up. File charges. Let's go. You can leave. I'm continuing this investigation. Well, I see how this is going to go down. Jesus, you guys are nuts! It's okay, everybody. I got this all under control. You accomplished a lot. Yes, I did. The adrenaline is affecting your reasoning and decision-making. Jack is calls. Who? Porter. He's about to call it right now. Can you track it? Affirmative. Go ahead. You're not concerned about her being aware of our interest? No. It's safer this way. We don't want to sneak up on her. He is making a call. I've obtained the address. Zone 12 is home to seven major gangs and numerous subgroups all fighting for control. Is it wise we go it alone? Don't worry, we're going in the back way. No sirens, no lights. No one's expecting us. We'll be out before they know we're there. dry cleaners in this area. They've entered the zone. Good. As soon as they make contact, I need to know. Are we still getting transmission? Yes, sir. What about the manual override option? 
you think you can switch them in the manual override? Of course. You want me to do it now? No, no, no. Just wait for my signal. Yes, sir. Yeah, that Helen Jacobs, she's more than just a mere visitor to the zone. She's a vigilante. The thing about the zone is you can pretty much get anything you want. It's outside the law, but there's a price you have to pay. You stay there too long and you're affected by the radiation. Criminals can come and go, but the, the people, the regular folks, they're stuck there. Those are the people she's fighting for. Relax. Relax. How's the operation going? Like clockwork, sir. The officers are nearly at their target. Tell me again about this. Well, it's always been our goal to rid the zone of gang lords. Last week's raid was step one. This is step two. Once Officer Hammond and his partner acquire their targets, they'll be 14 miles into the zone. And due to the contamination, there's only one safe way out. Fortunately for us, that safe way leads them past each gang territory, one by one by one. It'll be kill or be killed. Now, the beauty of this, sir, is they'll be taking the gangs out for us, one by one. And if they should be taken out, then we'll be justified in going in for retaliation. It's a win-win, sir. But what if they make it back? <laughs> There's no chance of that happening. Sir. That woman that they're after, that's not my daughter. She is trying to destroy me. Sir, no one is going to let that happen. We have a manual override on a droid, so if it comes to that, he'll take them out. But why don't we just let them do our dirty work for us? Clean up the zones. The city needs more men like you, officer. Thank you, sir. Who are you guys? You can just call us the future of law enforcement. And I think the city is in good hands. We are within 500 meters of the signal. Okay. We go on foot from here. cell phone works, but a trillion dollar robot can't get through. I am not a robot. Figure of speech. Sorry for calling you the R word. It appears that I'm being blocked from the other side. Well, why don't you just call a 911? 
Police services have been discontinued in the zone. It was a joke. You should have asked a wizard for a sense of humor. Look, let's just get to the car and call for backup. Who is the wizard? under a parked car. They're not a welcoming committee. Thank you. Don't mention it. We were told you may have been coerced into a sex ring. <sighs> That's tactful. Yeah, and if I was, it probably would be more of a public relations issue than any concern for my personal welfare. It was mentioned. Damn it, Andy, will you back off? Listen, you need to come with us. Am I under arrest? Well, no. Have you committed any crime that may warrant an arrest? Shit. Look. You need to come with us right now. No, you need to come with me. Now. That explosion is going to draw everything out of the woodwork. I can't be responsible for what happens to you, guys. Is that the best video you've got? Yes, sir. That's the best we can do right now. And we can't get audio. I'm working on it. Oh! That's her. I'll take that as a positive ID. Did we take out their vehicle? Negative, sir. That wasn't us. Oh, they're gonna have a fun night. Hey, it's a go. Put out the word. Dex's killer will be in zone 12, grid 16. Headed east on foot. Now you do whatever you want with the girl, but you make sure neither of them get out alive. see here. Nothing to see here. That's not what I see! Look, you're not our concern. Kindly step aside. Oh, we will, as soon as we're finished with you. I'm gonna pretend I didn't even hear that, because I'm trying to be a nice guy, okay? Now, there are a couple of ways this can go down, and none of them turn out so good for you. You are interfering with police business. Stand aside, or you will be subject to force. Andy, Andy, I got this. Look, we're not after you, but we can be if you wanted to go down like that. I could charge you all with obstructing justice. Stand down, or you'll be subject to force. Ah! Stop! You have a hammer. I have a hammer, too. Mine is better. One hell of a negotiator, aren't you? That was a lethal weapon. That was an axe. This is L.A. If I shot everybody that came at me with an axe, I'd never get through the paperwork. Besides, the plan was to go in and out under the radar, not ring the damn dinner bell. Your negotiations would have ended with the same result. Oh, you're so damn confident, aren't you? Confidence is outside of my parameters. Oh, okay, oh this is outside your parameters. Guys, gonna cut this out. And you? They're trying to kill all of us, you included. If this isn't your territory, why are you here? Okay, come on. Whoa. No, that, that's okay. You heard me. Come on. So can you just show them, show them your baby? My scan show that the child is completely normal. Yeah, we can see that, but what does it mean? If this involves... 
environment were radioactive. You wouldn't be able to have babies without mutations. You are correct. Mutations resulting from reactor fallout occur prior to birth. So you're saying... People are not getting sick because of radiation. It, it's something else. It's something introduced into the environment. What, a poison? Why would anyone want to do that? Land value. Just look at Los Angeles. We have, what, 30 million people and no room to house them? If someone rebuilt the zone, we would have more than enough room. So keeping this area off limits to development increases the value of what little available land there is. So who would benefit from that? Whoever owns that land. And with the quarantine, I guess nobody could come in here and see what's going on. You need to leave. <sighs> All right, buddy, well, I'm right there with you. This place is a sanctuary. You can't stay here. They can't get caught here. We're coming. Just... <sighs> the major shareholder of the properties who would benefit most from a scheme like this. Yeah, I know. Father. We have to go. Why would you help us? I know you don't remember me, but uh, I think you saved my life at the boundary, at the auto gun. You, you don't remember. You have to leave now. Give me a minute. to get her out. Maybe they were afraid of what she might discover. Couldn't they just disconnect her? Does her body back home know what she knows here? You know that. They're connected. That Helen is the same as this body. We need to get her into protective custody. I'll call Mills. He's solid. We'll get back up. Just the two of us? I don't think we make it out alive. Alive? Well, in your case, functional. We need to call for an extraction. We have to get on top of high ground, preferably a building would be ideal. Then he could contact the cell towers through line of sight. Do you know any place like that? I have an idea.
Pueblo Muerta. Pueblo Muerta. Has a nice ring to it. One thing's for sure, they heard us coming. Are you sure we need to go up there? Affirmative. You two may stay here. I will go alone. But I don't get to go to Pueblo Muerta. What will I tell my kids? You have kids. Well, not yet. Okay, let's let's do it. exists on rest. <laughs>
the cell tower? Working on it. Connecting. Officer One? We're dispatching the nearest air support unit to your location. Please stand by for estimated arrival. The commander will be here in five minutes.
What, what are you doing? I don't know. I'm not doing this. Stop where you are. I, I will shoot you. Helen, someone has overridden his control. What the hell are you talking about? Helen, shoot him. <laughs> what the hell is happening to me? Drop your weapon. You're one of us, Hannah. You're an android cop. Shut up! William, what are you doing? His protocols are deeper than I thought. The real Hammond is not letting go. Well, I don't care. You better fix it. Shoot him in the temporal lobe on the side of the head. I can't! I am not an android. You must do it. It is the only way to remove their controls. An android. It can pass for you or I. A little easier to transmit. I've got a camera, Sarge. Right. You know what you sound like when you say you don't like machines. You're dead. The central nervous system is fine, but the spine has been severed. He's paralyzed from the waist down. When will he wake up? Well, I wouldn't call it waking up exactly. But if this works, he can go right back to work at his old position.
imagine you're feeling kind of queasy. We'll put us only to start. I have it done. Your life support has been disconnected. I'm afraid it was some kind of accident. At least that's the official report. I don't know how long you have. Your body can't function long without the machines. It's ironic, isn't it? But I'm rambling. How long do you have? Maybe 20 minutes? Ma'am, I'm sorry to say that you will soon be experiencing the same thing, and I'd like to say it was tough convincing your father it was necessary, but let's say the mayor's pragmatic. Now, where were we? Oh, what happened? Yes, there is a solution. Give up, and we'll plug you and your fine lady friend back in. Whatever you think you know, whatever information you have, it's not going to make a difference, and you're both going to die. <laughs> Tick-tock, we'll be waiting on you. Auntie, what is the fastest way to media center? No. You have to go to your house where your body's being kept. Helen Jacobs' body is not at her house. How do you know that? They would have expected that. They have moved the body. To nowhere? I may be able to link it to the nurse's tracking device. I locked on to it when I was at the hospital. Yeah, I know you had it for before. I have the location. Good. We can have the media meet us there. Uh, what about you? Forget about me. I I'm not gonna let you die. Calculating. Look, do you think those assholes are gonna let me or any of us live after this? Even if they do, they'll probably put me back in a coma or erase my memory. No, we have to see this through. It's the only way for any of us. Turn here. Here? Affirmative. services. Tell them to get every media hound in town to meet us there. Copy that.
Professor. I want to thank you for saving my daughter. And my deepest condolences for your partner. It is a shame, though, as you may not have been aware of Helen's wishes. Apparently, and unbeknown to us, she signed a do not resuscitate order. We have been fighting the courts to keep her going, but to no avail. We received the verdict today. We lost. Helen is going to get her wishes. She would have never wanted to exist like this. We thought her android body could give her another life. But now that's over, and thanks to you, the court order requires that we pull the plug. Turn the machine off. told me she wouldn't wake up. What did you do to her? Your nurse has been keeping her sedated. I don't know what's happening, sir. Then why? Why did, did you do it? Why did you poison them? Now that your bios have been upgraded, Officer Henry, I believe.
believe our partnership can operate on more equal terms. What do you mean, equal terms? You are now free to operate in machine mode without human interference or logic deficits. Human interference? Human interference? Is that what you just said? I can't believe you even said that. <laughs> Something is amiss with your programming. No, something's amiss with your program. Do you really think we're the same? Huh? Let me explain it to you. My CPU's neural network was imprinted by my controller's, a human's, neural framework. That framework constitutes 70.236 of who I am. And as you know, if you are one-eighth of a human, then you are what? In fact, a human. What I am is a humadroidican American. Get it straight. I'm sorry that your functioning will be hampered by that framework. Uh, hampered? See, see, no, you're the one that's hampered. Look at you. See, you're basically a soda machine. No, no, strike that. A soda machine is better because it dispenses soda. <laughs> Something useful. But you? <laughs> what do you dispense? Hot air. Logic. You can't even think on your feet. You have no sense of humor. You're just... We are getting a call. I already got that. See? Uh, responding. Hammond, I need you to... You don't even have to say anything. Thank you. 